University of Granada. Uh, we are here representing the Sierra Nevada ITER site, that is a uh, uh, biosphere reserve situated at the southernmost part of, of Spain. And uh, this talk is, is, this, is a sort of, of topic uh, talk because it is about a tool to manage uh, information inside the inside, uh, ITER site. <coughs> Well, yes, I will try. Well, as, as, as you know, an information system is, is a tool that is able to manage information. That could be the, the most easy to understand definition of, of, of this, 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 uh, this system. Uh, information system can, can take different shapes. You can have an information system uh, uh, in your desktop, in your computer, but you can also access to it by, by the internet or, or whatever. In, in, in any case, uh, what you have is a scheme like this. You can input data to the system that could have a shape of a sort of box, and you get information uh, from this system. You, you input data and you get information. So the main functions are to store and manage information and to to process that information in order to get a useful knowledge or, <coughs> or information that you can use to make decisions or, or, or whatever. <coughs> Sorry. So the, the, the really important things happen inside, inside that box. The, that box uh, has lots of different tools. One of the most important ones is, is, a, is a relational database and, uh, engine that is used to store, query, and manage all the other raw data that you are inputting in, in the system. There are also different, lots of different uh, programming languages that uh, are used to, to create tools to access those data and to process them in order to get uh, the desired information and, and, and knowledge. These internal processes are, are usually hidden or transparent to the user. So you don't you, you can't access to the, to those to those uh, processes, um, and that should be so in, in most of cases. But there are some. I'm sorry. Uh, this is an example of, of this, this situation. We, we we input data using a in, that, in this case using a, a spreadsheet. You can input data from a given monitoring program protocol. Uh, for example, bird dispersal um, or whatever, and then uh, you can obtain information like this chart <coughs> that is showing the, the abundance or the diversity of those of those bags. The process that occurs from the raw data to those information are hidden to the to the user, to the final user. But as I said, uh, in some, some user and sometimes you, you need to know how those data are are related to each other and how to process them in order to obtain that, that information. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's why we created this tool that we have called Modeler. Modeler is, is a sort of guest inside our information system because it's like a, like, like a, a tool that is able to, to document all the processes, all the, all the internal processes that, that are occurring to process data into, into, into information. <coughs> it's, like, it's, it's like having a book where you have written all the receipt that you use to, to cook your data. And that's a very powerful tool if you want to really uh, extract all the knowledge that you have in your in your data. Well, the, the main objectives that we had when we when we uh, did this system uh, can can be seen there. The first of all is to design and implement a system to document environmental uh, models. <coughs> there, 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 Unfortunately, there are not standards to document uh, environmental models. We have uh, we have standards to document uh, data uh, like EML, as, as you know, but there are not model uh, there are not those standards to, to document uh, the, the environmental models. We followed some other initiatives like uh, one called ECOPASS. I don't know if, if you know, <coughs> but anyway, the other the other objective was to to allow the <coughs> the, exec the execution the execution of those environmental models that we previously documented. <coughs> well, the other objective has to be with the, with the needs that you have to, to have in your information system in order to run this, this, this model. Well, this, the, the framework, the general framework of, of the conceptual model that we created to, to previously to, previous to implement this, this tool is, uh, can be seen here. First of all, we have 
uh, a tool to document all of our models. As I said, uh, you can you have access to the to the system and you can you can type general information about your model, who ha who has created it, um, what is the, the the bibliography associated to this model, um, what was the internal logic inside that model. I mean, how how do you process your data to obtain your information? Uh, how do you connect to raw data that is previously integrated in your system, or um, well, which are the, the, the outputs of that of that models, etc. And even you can you can type the parameters uh, that you use to, to to prepare the model to be to be executed. Well, if if you if you properly document your 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 model, the system is able to create automatically a sort of draft uh, of a work. Um, a scientific workflow, workflow that we run using Kepler. That is a very interesting tool created by, by the University of Santa Barbara in, in California. And thanks, thanks to this tool, you can execute your model. And you, we are uh, closing the cycle of, of data processing. Well, this is an example of, of, of a workflow using Kepler, where you can see it's a classical workflow. You can, you can you have lots of, of actors and uh, data connections and, and different uh, processes inside that are used to connect your data and, and to operate with, with, with them. Well, as, as we said, uh, this, this model is a sort of guest inside our system. So we have to prepare our information system in order to, to, to host it. The main, the main, the, the main requirement that we have to, to implement in our system is to document all the raw data that we have inside our information system. If your data are not documented, documented properly documented, is like you don't have data in most cases. We have used EML standard to, to document all, all our data. This standard is the one that e, uh, LTER has, has chosen as, as its own standard. The second task we have to, to, to do is to create a set of web service web services that provide input data to, to, to modeler from this EML uh, standard. This could be a more complex uh, task and maybe not relevant in this in this uh, talk. I will show you just one 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 a very simple example. <coughs> um, we are in a place where we have snow even being in the southernmost part of Europe. And <coughs> we, are, we are receiving uh, daily images com coming from Moldy's sensor from, from NASA. I, I guess you, you, you know that. Uh, and this product shows the, the spatial distribution of snow back in, in, in our place. But we are interested not only in collecting those raw data, but also in, in obtaining uh, uh, graphs like this, like this one. This is a graph showing the, uh, the snowpack profile in Sierra Nevada. You can see uh, the, this axis shows the, the, the surface in areas, and this one shows the time and days. So this is the, 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 the yearly um, uh, snowpack profile in our mountain. In, if, if we don't have this, this, this tool to document the, the, the models, uh, you cannot access to, this pro to the process, processes that are behind raw data and this um, more elaborated uh, information. <coughs> but thanks to Modeller, we are able to do two things. We can, we can create this, work, this workflow in a very explicit way, and we can also document it. I mean, we, we, can, we can connect the, the, the we can uh, include in this workflow the, the, the database that contains this raw data. We can add all the processes that we need to, to, to transfer this raw data to, the, to this information that are SQL queries or, or spatial aggregations or, or whatever you, you want to add. And lastly, you can have a, a, a sheet uh, showing the, the metadata of this, of this model. And you can know how these guys has create, created this, this, this graph. So this tool is, a very, is also a very interesting uh, tool <laughs> to, to share the, the way we, 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 we interact and we create uh, information from, from raw data. Well, sorry if it, that's all. Sorry if this has been a very off-topic chat. Francisca.
answer? Yes. You can. There's a brief question. They have been simulated for CDUX and CR. Have you been in uh, in contact with that group, or was this a cooperation, or was this a standalone solution in Spain? Uh, we've been in contact with, with them, with, with some people working in, in, in the US, with Inigo Sapil, I don't know if you know him, yes. Thank Thanks. you, Francisco. Ancora Iker Pardo.